you uh, you touched base on your uh, call collegiate experience. You received your degree from astronaut Neil Armstrong. Is that is that correct? Yeah, the uh, very, people don't realize it was it was highly unusual. Neil Armstrong was a very private, uh, reserved fellow, and uh, almost never accepted um, speaking engagements or whatnot. And somehow. Uh, our class managed to get him to come to our graduation, and uh, he literally put his put my diploma in my hand. And it's kind of funny because it, it rained that day. It, it rained when I graduated from high school, college, and law school. So uh, we were inside, no air conditioning, and uh, we were seated alphabetically. Uh, and um, so C. Castor was relatively close to the front. I, I, can't remember if I was in the first or second row, but I was very close to the front and very close to the stage. Well, there was a uh, there was a a prayer at the beginning to to begin the uh, the festivities, and the prayer. And remember, we're it's it's the end of May. We're melting inside with no air conditioning. It's humid as can be because it's just raining like like uh, dogs and cats outside, and. Um, and the, the prayer is drowning on and on and on. And we're, we're in suits, ties, and then those gowns you wear and those silly hats and all that. And it just is, a, it was a miserable experience. And during the prayer that had been droning on, I happened to look up and, it, and I was seated exactly directly in front of Armstrong. He was on a raised platform, but literally I was the guy who was the most 90 degree angle or however you would refer it right to him and at that exact moment he looked up too we both locked eyes and he goes like this because <laughs> he had the exact same feeling so i always felt that's kinship yes uh, so, so when i when i uh got my diploma we both shared a little laugh about that i mean you know i'm 60 years old so in in july 1969 i was about to turn eight and uh i I bought into all that space stuff. I mean, the whole country yeah. was crazy. And uh, I followed the space program all the way through. And Armstrong was a hero of mine. So, yeah, to get my diploma from Armstrong was pretty cool. Right. for such From such an iconic figure in U.S. history. Exactly. And very few people can say that because Armstrong, unlike a lot of famous people, did very little of that. Mm -hmm. uh, very seldom do you, did you see Armstrong go and do that. Now, he would be if the country called for you know, the Challenger explosion or something like that, he would do that. But otherwise, he was a very private man. Wow. Yeah, no, that's honestly, that's a that's a life changing experience. So I'm glad that you were able to. It was when wild. I, it when was I wild. saw that, I was like, I got to ask him about that. <laughs> I always stick it in there in my bio because I thought I always think people would think that was cool. So it worked. Yeah, it did. It did. A hook, line and sinker. Here you go. You got a fish. <laughs>